Okay, is it time for this video? I think it might be time for this video. <clears throat> I've tried to film this like a bunch of times and I just get really nervous and then I have to start over. So we're gonna try it again. So, hey everyone, this is a video I'm very excited and very nervous to be making. It is a very monumental moment in my life. Some might call it a midlife crisis. I think this is what they call it. If you didn't see my video last week, I have huge news to share with you. And the fact that I have officially left the security of my tenure career to pursue being an independent artist. <laughs> and it's very scary to say those words because it's something I've been thinking about for the past year very intensely thinking about it and whether or not it would be the right move for me or not and i wanted to make a video about it because a lot of you have reached out to me and have told me that you're kind of in the same situation you know you're working your full-time job and you have this art business as well and you know your goal is to eventually do it full-time and i want to just talk a little bit about how i eventually made that decision because it was not an easy decision it was very scary and I'm still scared now because uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I might fail, but it's something that I've kind of come to terms with and yeah, just kind of want to talk about that a little bit. So if you're new here or you don't really know me, my name is Birdie and I am an artist in Sweden. And if you can't tell from my accent, I'm actually American. So I moved here six years ago and I started my art business Birdie Tam officially two years ago. I registered it two years ago. But it's something I can say that I've sort of been working on for more than two years, like sort of very casually. It was like, you know, making some handmade pins here and there and like making like little polymer clay sculpts and stuff like that. I would say that officially two years ago is the start of my journey to try to grow a business that was very much my own and creating products and, and stuff like that. I, I think I kind of want to talk about the difficulty of this decision because it was really, really not easy for me to let go of the security of my 10-year career. I don't really talk about my day job ever or I never really did and I kind of regret that because I've now learned that many of you are also working full-time jobs while doing art. So I was working as a senior UX designer, meaning that I did a lot of things from user experience, user research, interviewing people, I would design flows, prototypes, and I would do like user interface and stuff like that. So this is a 10 year career that I had been building up. It was something that I was very, very proud of because I feel like it was a successful career. I worked very hard to be able to work for the companies I have. I've had the luxury and pleasure to be able to work on some really big titles. And yeah, it's something that I was really, really invested in and I wanted to eventually work my way up to becoming something like a principal designer or even a director one day. It is something that, yeah, I was really, really invested in. My thing is that while the job was creative, it wasn't fulfilling me creatively for what I wanted to do. So we don't really talk about much as creatives when you're working for someone else and the fact that you're usually doing designs and creative work for someone else. It's very, very different than creating art and designs for yourself. And I think that's kind of the thing that I was missing towards the end of my career. It's not to say that my job wasn't fun because it was, but at the same time, it was still working for someone else. And I wanted to make things for myself and I wanted to create merchandise and I wanted to design ceramics and I there's there was this drive that I have where I really want to create my own products and have my own brand and my own business and so this is a passion that has kind of always been there actually like even as a kid I was like oh it'd be so cool to have like my designs on the shelf or something and I think that's something that's really exciting for me to be able to start doing now the reason I'm saying that is because my 10-year career and I keep saying that because I'm very very nervous leaving it still it was not easy to leave I had a good steady paycheck I could pay my bills I didn't have to worry about money and you know I don't have other financial securities that was my financial security so leaving that to rely solely on myself to provide income for myself is very scary but I was able to kind of get over that fear the fact that I have a lot of savings I also have a wonderful partner who has supported me 100% and has been encouraging me to pursue this for ages and so I guess what I'm saying is that the thing that helped me make this decision is being able to know that I would be financially secure because I have savings and I have a partner I can rely on and the other thing also is that I realize that if it doesn't work out I can always go back and I can always get another job and so I think that learning to be okay with the uncertainty of what is going to come and the uncertainty of the money that I will bring in because it 
is all on me was a big factor in being comfortable enough to leave even though I am still scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm still scared. I, it, it was, it had to, it, so, I'm so lost for words. I'm still scared because I don't know if I will be successful or not, but I think the big thing for me is being at least able to try it. Another really big factor for me to leave the security of my full-time job was that even though I was bringing in a steady paycheck, I was slowly deteriorating on the inside and, and hear me out. What ended up happening is that over the past two years, I've been balancing my full-time job and my art business. And I don't want to call it a side business because even though it was on the side, I was still putting in 20 to 40 hours a week in that business, if not more. What I would end up doing is I would basically work the entire day and then at night work on my business. So for example, I would work seven to eight hours designing UX flows and prototypes and all those things. And then at night I would go to the ceramic studio and then basically throw for six hours. And those days were so long and it was honestly just not sustainable for me to keep doing that. It was really, really draining me uh, mentally and physically. I wasn't really sleeping that much. I was always thinking about like 10 things at the same time because I was thinking about like all the art things I had to do. And then at the same time, all the designs I had to make for work and deliver on. And it was really, really stressful. I would say once a week I would probably crash and just sleep the entire day. It was just really hard. If you remember last year, I also stopped doing YouTube in the summer because it just became way too much for me. What ended up happening was that I would be staying up till like 3 or 4 a.m. editing a video to try to get it out that week and then I would go to work just a few hours later and then struggle through the whole day to get what I need to do done. And so like, it just wasn't sustainable for me. I did end up actually going part-time in the autumn of last year, which was a huge, huge thing for me. Um, I was lucky enough to have an, uh, an employer that would allow me to do this. I felt like like this is my chance to maybe find some balance between what I was trying to build for myself and also be able to work at my, my day job, at my UX job. The thing that ended up happening though is that I was trying to build so many things that even with the extra two days that I was getting, to work on my art business, it still wasn't enough. I have been working on my business for two years to grow to where it is now, and I actually was getting to the point where my growth was being held back by the amount of time I had available to put into it. And that's kind of, I think, one of the biggest things that pushed me over the edge to finally make this decision because I just simply didn't have enough hours in the day to grow my art business to what I wanted it to be while still holding on to the security of my day job. Really it was a huge thing for me to be able to make the decision because long term I wasn't going to be able to sustain what I was doing. Like I wasn't really sleeping and I wasn't eating well and I wasn't exercising like got this like little bit of chub now. <laughs> And like I was just constantly physically and mentally drained, like just constantly stressed out because of all the things I had to do and never having enough time to do it. Like a big thing for me was being able to find happiness in being able to actually do what was important to me. And like I joked about it being like a midlife crisis and stuff like that, but I kind of do think it is that. I am almost 32, I'm not getting any younger. And as you get older, as you get older kids, all those hours start to really, really matter. And you really start to value the commodity that is time because you never ever get it back. So I really wanna make it clear that I do not at all regret my 10 year career. I would not have wanted to be somebody who came out of college and went straight into being an independent artist because that would have been so difficult for me to do financially. And having my 10 year career has given me the opportunity to travel the world, to meet so many people, to gain so much experience that I wouldn't have otherwise. I just wanna make that really clear for anybody else who feels like they really wanna have an art business right now, but they're stuck in their career and stuff. Don't feel like you've missed out because you can still do it. Or take that career you have that you're building to get the experience and to learn from other people and meet other people and also build up that financial security to eventually do your art business. Like I, I see no problem at all if you're somebody who wants to work on their career first and then they do their art business or if you're somebody who wants to have the security of their full-time job and do their art business at the same time. My only word of advice is finding a way to make sure that's sustainable and that you're not burning yourself out because that's basically what was happening to me. I was burning myself out basically every single week trying to work 
80 plus hours. It just, it just wasn't sustainable. So I guess I just kind of like want to wrap up with the fact that it was a really difficult decision for me, but I realized something that was really important. And I was listening to this book by Guy Raz called How I Built This. And there's a section in this book where he's talking to another entrepreneur. And I'm paraphrasing here, but that what they were basically saying is that the risk wasn't in leaving the security of the full-time job. The risk was in staying. And that was, that's so important to me. And I'm going to just say it again, that the risk wasn't in leaving, it was in staying. And for me, that spoke volumes because what I realized is that the risk was in staying at my day job because I would be losing out on all the opportunities that I could be having for myself and the happiness I could be having and physical health and well-being and all those things if I were to actually just take the leap and do my art business full-time for myself. Another big thing also for me was just that, you know, I'd been working for the man for 10 years and I didn't want to work for the man anymore. I want to be the man. So yeah, that's kind of, kind of where I'm at. And the last thing is this also, if not now, then when? So yeah, all those kinds of little things all those little quotes and ideas in my head were what finally made me make the decision to leave the security of my full-time job to become an independent artist. I don't know if I'm going to be successful. I have been slowly building this for two years or so. I hope that I can bring it to a place where I feel financially stable to do this long term. Some days I even get fear of like, Oh, like what if I get bored of this or what if I don't like this anymore but I've been doing art my entire life and I've never been bored of it so why am I suddenly scared of that now I don't know I think it's just the pressure of you know being independent and having to rely solely on myself to bring in money I, I guess we will see what happens in the coming year I could be successful I could fail I don't know but I'm gonna try to be okay with anything that happens we will see where we go from here I think that kind of wraps it up I just wanted to basically have another heart to heart with you and explain a little bit more of why I suddenly, not so suddenly, decided to do this. And I hope that maybe these thoughts will help you in deciding what you want to do if you are also an aspiring entrepreneur, small business owner. It's weird to think that I'm an entrepreneur or something. I don't know, it sounds strange. I guess let me know if you have any questions and if you're in the same place, if you're working full time or if you're like just about to take the plunge, yeah, just, just let me know because I don't think that you're alone. I, I've talked to a lot of you and I know that there are many aspiring artists out there who want to do this full time. Also, again, if you are somebody who doesn't want to do it full time and you want the security of your job, that's totally okay too. I think I'm going to just stop it there before I say too much more. Hope that this video wasn't too jumbled, but yeah. I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with you in the coming year. I'm happy that I'll have time to do YouTube again. I guess I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.